I should have left it where I recorded the book further. I would assume. Yeah, this place. Okay. Take all the flowers, why not? Um. Okay, what did we have to do today? Okay, I have a lot of space. Okay, so... Reaching security, steal Gaius Maro's travel schedule, and key kill Gaius Maro. Okay, now I remember. Uh, I'll go to the sanctuary for a moment. This one. Yeah. I'll go to the sanctuary, speak to everyone, kind of see what they are going to tell me about the mission. Um, then let's tackle that. Just in case, to avoid what happened last time. Although I am pretty tired today too, so... <laughs> yeah, I, ca I cannot... No. <laughs> Something? No, not really, Astrid. Don't worry. Hi, dude. Oh, you're part of a family now, Hamshank. I trust you. You trust me. Got it? Yes. Any advice on my current contract? What's the matter, listener? Night Mother not feeling very chatty these days? You need help from your flesh and blood lessers? You've got to track a man, kill him, and then frame him for a crime. This contract's perfect. For me. Clearly, my lovely wife made a mistake. Okay. Later, Hamhawk. Very well. Sister. Any advice on my current contract? Astrid had me investigate the Penitus Oculatus. The members are highly trained, effective warriors. Be on your guard, sister. Thank you, Vesara. Stay safe. Okay, uh in this week. Oh, there's a lot of you here. Hi, Priella. I'm surprised. I had assumed you were more competent. Hmm. Oh yeah, you're the one that gave me the stuff. It's been quite a boon, looking like a child. No one ever suspects a thing. Any advice on my current contract? Normally, I talk to a victim before I end his life, but I wouldn't recommend it this time. Tomorrow will be alert to danger. Talking may spook him. Okay. Until next time, sister. So not talking. It's a cute spider. Talk to Babette about potions. She's the creepy little girl. Can't miss her. Okay. Any advice on my current contract? Remember, your target is Gaius Morrow, the son. Not Commander Morrow, the father. We need him alive. But the son? Ha! <laughs> Scorch his face off. Okay. Right then. Mm hmm. Do you have I anything to say? So many contracts, so little time. Any advice? Killing Gaius Morrow in a city will be challenging because of all the guards, but fights, even murder, are fairly common. Killing him secretly will certainly make things easier on you. But if there are witnesses, so be it. Happy hunting. Okay. Gaius Morrow still lives. I'm surprised. I had assumed you were more competent. Girl, he's going to die. Don't worry. I heard about what happened. Word certainly travels fast, doesn't it? It's the part of the sanctuary. How did I get here? This is not where I wanted to go. Oh, that's Caesar. Do you have anything to say? Oh, hello, hello. No, no. Farewell, farewell. Not really, no. I don't want to know about him. This way? Yes, this is where I wanted to come. Ay ay ay. I was getting turned around. 
I used to read. Need something? Any advice? I've taken the liberty of visiting the cities and spreading some nasty rumors about Gaius Mero to make his treachery that much more believable. Okay. Remember, when you kill, we all wield the blade. Sure. Okay, so Gaius Mero, the son, not the father. Okay, um, where in the map? Up here? Dragon Bridge. Um. Steal Gaius Mato's travel schedule. Kill. Must kill Gaius Mato, an ancient of the Emperor's security force. Once he's dead, I must plant a letter on his body that will incriminate him in a plot to kill the Emperor. If I wish to earn a bonus, I must not kill him in Dragon Bridge, or on the road, but in one of the cities he visits. Okay, so he's going to stay here for a while, I suppose. So we can just go here and kind of work from there. I would assume we can do that. Okay. It did save. Where is the dude? He's still in there. I should not kill him in Dragon Bridge. All the same. Remember everything I said. Stay alert. And when you get to the cities, make your observations and move on. I understand. But you're being paranoid. I'm inspecting security, not charging off into battle. Get him, not kill him. Son, the Emperor's safety is concerned. Any Cool. Okay. <laughs> I just like, where did he land? To be fair, an invisible dragon is not that common. I did get one, but it's not that common. The one thing that I hope is that this dude doesn't die because of the dragon. <laughs> And I failed the quest. Is it an Elder Dragon? Yes. It had to be. Yeah, wait. Uh, shells? Let's get something like this. I think I did hit him with that. Just stay still. Dude. Dude. Do not. Just imagine I kill him by mistake. Here. I need to be very careful about that. I don't want to kill him. I feel the quest. I'm so near the target. Pretty soldier. <sighs> hmm. Good. Keep back, citizen. I have important business I must attend to. Yeah. He doesn't have the schedule. Someone else has it. Maybe over here? In the Imperial stuff? Hi, dude. You are to adhere to the following schedule. Mourn this. Solitude the Emperor's Tower. Mourn this evening. Solitude Castle Tower. Tiridas. Windhelm. The Palace of Kings. 
Irida's evening went home. Barracks. Couldn't sleep. Midas. Riften. Miss Bell keeps. Turda's white run. Dragon's reach. Turda's evening white run. The bar nightmare. Okay. Oof. Repeat until you have recalled you personally. The guards and yards of the city have been informed of your arrival and will leave you to your work. Study the guard patterns. St examine any entrances and exits and make note of any irregularities. Talk to no one. The fewer people who know about your mission to save for the Emperor will ultimately be. Okay. So, Lord of Us. Let's just read it again. Oh, I still have the Adam's Empire things. <laughs> okay, so. Okay, Lord of Us and Send Us. And then... Yeah, I shouldn't kill him on the road. I think that the way he's going, I think he's going back to solitude. Right? I don't really know my, my days of the week. I think it is. Emperor's Tower. Should I just go to Solitude? It's fairly close. I don't think I have changed the day. No. Still out of this. Okay. He has to come like from here, right? From there. You know you can afford a septum or two. Mm, depending for Okay. Got a free potion. Can I go up here? Come on, dude. I can't do that. You can go up there. Come on. You should see me when you get bored, stranger. Who are you? That's like who's talking? Oh come on. Oh I cannot pass by there. I thought I maybe could. Don't get stuck. No matter what else happens, the guards will always be grateful for everything you've done. But I can do this. Who may see me here? East Empire. Okay. Who's looking at me though? I thought maybe here, for example, would be like a good place. And if he passes through there, because that's the other, the other thing. Oh, wait. He does seem like he's going... Maybe he doesn't use the first entrance. He's still loaded us, so maybe he's... Doing a detour? Yes, he seems to go somewhere else. Or maybe he goes, comes out of there. Like that entrance over there. Can I like... Yeah. 
I can barely see through that. Ouch. Yeah, because maybe he goes through that. Like, maybe he comes through here? It's too scary. Because he's kind of going there. I don't know where he's going, though. I'll wait for... Wait. He disappeared. How? How is he there? <gasps> okay, so he went away. He went to Wilhelm. I waited two hours and he was like, nope. Now it's soon this. Yeah, I, I'll have to follow him. Okay, this might take a while. So I might as well just do this. Just follow him very obviously. What are we going to have coffee right now? Or something to drink? While I follow this this man. This is not even a safe distance to be following anyone. Just where is he going? I mean, it is Sundas. Sundas is where somewhere he wanted to be. Not really going for nothing. Like, not really a set schedule. He got tired of the third person. <gasps> I 
That's fine. So where are you going, man? Wait, uh, let me see. Soon that's right. Soon that's. Where is he? He's in Rift 10. It did seem like he was going in the general direction, but. Are you still here? Can I please kill you here? You want to talk to me? After everything you've done, Krelka, I wanted to talk what have about I done? the suit of leather armor you sold. You look like you could use a drink. What do you? <laughs> After everything you've done, of what? Yeah, what do you want? If this is about the meadery, we can talk later. Okay, he is there. Sorry, I'm afraid I can't help you much right now. I'm currently in mourning. I said nothing. Okay, uh, will I wait for like one hour more? He woke. He kind of got up. Are you going like upstairs? Down, my friend. Up for some fishing. Looking for work? I don't know, Bolly. It's getting dangerous outside the walls. Oh, come now. What's a dragon or two compared to a day full of fishing? That's okay. not funny, Bolly. People are scared. He's going there? Why don't they listen to me? Yes. Why won't they do as I say? Maybe they're afraid of me. Maybe it's your breath. How should I know? What do you want? Do you what do you want? If you'll excuse me, I okay. have other things to attend to. He almost looked like he was like following me. It's looking like he's following me. I met her when I wandered into Riften a few years ago. Been smitten with her ever since. In fact, I'm thinking of asking her to marry me. Oh. In Black Marsh, tradition dictates we present a potential mate a unique wedding ring to represent our future bond. I already have the gold band, but all I need are three flawless amethysts to complete the setting. I could find those for you. I was hoping you'd offer. I didn't think it was my place to ask such a favor of you. I thank you. Okay, can you leave me alone? Every Argonian wedding proposal band is supposed to have three flawless amethysts as part of their design. Uh -huh. Two of the gems, the ones on the outside, represent the couple to be married. One for the husband, one for the wife. The amethyst in the center represents the hist, the entity that all Argonians consider a sacred part of our lives. Okay. Okay. If you'll excuse me, I have other things to attend to. New in town, eh? Here for the fishing. Here for a room Hi. or something to drink? Show me some coin first. Uh, yeah, give me a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Come back and see us again. Yeah, what do you want? Up for some fishing this week. See if he doesn't follow me like that. It's getting dangerous outside the walls. Oh, come. Because uh, maybe he was following me because I was What's near here and I didn't have a room. A day full of fishing. That's not funny, it's like doing something People are like... scared. Are you still going to look at me? He left. And he left. Should 
Should I just take my chance? And I missed. Oh, come on. How bad am I? No. Load again. There's son in Imperial Guard and he's like super close to another guard. Give me a second. Uh doo -doo -doo -doo. No, um apparel in the cold. Oh, come on, dude. <gasps> okay, so it's going to take me, like, some time to do stuff. Oh, God. Wait, so he went to Riften first. Solitude. Margaret. Hmm. Wait, what time is it? What day is it? When does? Solitude, Empress Tower. Are you going to solitude? I'll just go and pray. Then on the evening he's somewhere else. Mourned us. What are you doing there? I understand absolutely nothing. I do want to kill him on a city, but... But yeah. It would be so easy to kill you here. Okay, wait, so he's going that way. He's coming down. Oh, is he going to white run? I think I'll be like this the whole fucking day. No, he's over here. What the hell? He was here. Now he's here. Is he going to, to Windhelm? I understand nothing of this man's schedule. At this point I believe he's just doing whatever. He's on the palace, palace of kings. Windhelm Barracks. Look at that, that's full of people. Hello, fellow Imperials. 
to wait one hour more. Hi, dude. <laughs> Hi. Great to see you. What's that portal doing? Hey. You're the one who killed Elaine Dufont up in Ralvatar. Oh, yeah. Word about that goes around. Man was a piece of bandit trash, is what I hear. Interesting. Who told you that? <laughs> Honestly, they should be kicking me out using like that armor. I should be kicked out, and I'm not. cousin of the Emperor was murdered in solitude at her own damn wedding. Not a chance we'd have let that happen here. Interesting that you're not blaming me for that one either. I am also the perpetrator. Yeah. It's kind of outside. Be nice if you come here this way, you know? We should have like a row, like a paralyze. Still hidden. Uh, take the letter, and I need to put the like put another letter. Yeah. Can I fast travel? <laughs> I don't I don't know if I have a bounty now I don't think I do <laughs> I hope I don't <gasps> I thought the, the the Imperial Guard would actually Ah, oh, at last I've been anxiously awaiting Hi. your return. Gaius Maro is dead. Yes, I know. As does Astrid. You have done well and have earned both your reward and a bonus, as I have mentioned. Thank but you. But you should know that we have a more pressing matter to deal with. What it's... happened? Cicero, there's been an incident. You should proceed into the sanctuary. I'll let Astrid explain. Okay. There we go. It only took me what? Half an hour? Just try to relax, Bizarro. Let the elixir do its work. You'll feel better shortly. Ah, oh, thank you, dear. You are most kind. The jester's cut feels as bad as it looks, I'm afraid. Damn it, this never should have happened. We knew better. We knew better, and still we let our guards down. Ah! I'll admit, even I'm having a hard time disagreeing with you. Marrow is dead, I know, but we've got bigger problems right now. Gabriela mentioned something about Cicero. The fool went absolutely berserk. He wounded Vizara, tried to kill me, and then he fled. I knew that lunatic couldn't be trusted. Oh, it's true, I'm afraid. Cicero was a little whirlwind, 
slashing this way and that. <laughs> it would have been funny if he weren't trying to murder us all. Don't forget the ranting and raving about the Night Mother, how she was the true leader of the Dark Brotherhood, and Astrid was just a pretender. Let me see. We've got to deal with this situation. You've got to deal with this situation. Yeah, me. Me as the listener. What do you want me to do? I want you to find that miserable little fool and end his life. But first, find my husband. Make sure he's all right. After the attack, Onbjorn flew into a rage. When Cicero left, Onbjorn went after him. They disappeared into the wild. Search Cicero's room. Maybe there's something in there that sheds some light on where he might have gone. Okay. Let me know the minute you find something. I've got to see to Vizara and calm everyone down. That's the Good. fool. Who's the fool now, hmm? Hush, Vizara. You were very brave. Astrid may well be dead if not for you. She's right. I'll be forever in your debt, dearest brother. Now be quiet. Just... Just rest. Uh, today has been a day like very I've been sneezing a lot today and it's doing okay up until this point but oh god yeah he kind of was doing great the last time I was here what happened to you boy what set you up yes he sort of journal 30th of Sun's Dusk, Cordera, 200. I have written the letters. So polite, so official, to Astrid and Skyrim. Her sanctuary still stands, still operates. But how? No listener means no black sacrament. No black sacrament means no contracts. Her family can abandon the old ways and still survive. Still kill, but is that family still brotherhood or something else? Something new, something different? Something wrong. Something wrong. Still, we must go. Tomorrow we set sail. Plow, float on a boat through the moat called the sea. Her and me. 22nd of Evening Star. Fourth Era. 200. Six, 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 stick of the rock and tossing and rolling, throwing upon the grand, gray, gray waves. I've been reading of Skyrim, of the good days, the old days, the old ways. There was another sanctuary once, a dawn star sanctuary, good, ancient, and strong, blessed by Sithis. Cicero will go there, no need of Astrid. The mother and I will settle, and she will speak to me, finally, and we will build the old ways anew together. 23rd of Evening Star, 4th Era, 200. The past phrase is mine, I have found it, in a letter ancient as the sanctuary itself. The black door will ask, what is life's greatest illusion? I am to answer. Innocence, my brother. Finally, a space. A place to call my own. A joker's retreat for the fool of hearts. Fourth of first seed. Fourth era. 201. The sanctuary's home. As I had dared hope. Cool and dark and lovely. My sanctuary. Sanctuary from all. I know it's very corner. Every hall, every shadow nook and alcove, my sanctuary. The guardians know me, recognize me as keeper. They leave poor Cicero alone, the big ugly beast, a different story. He would eat me if he could, but to bind me, grind me, he will need to find me. And Cicero will make sure that does not happen, for I have sanctuary. Sanctuary from all. Thirteenth of First seed, fourth era, 201. The sanctuary's safety and salvation, but silent, so silent. I give my love to the unholy matron. I give my laughter freely, but I do not hear her. The silence has returned. Now that I am laughter, and no longer hear laughter, I once again hear the silence. 
the silence of the void. It reaches across time and space. Its silence is deafening once more. First of Rain's hand. Fourth era, 201. Mother and keeper must go. I am not the listener. And never will be. But I am the keeper. I must serve my mother. My mother's will above my own. My own. I must find her listener. I must teach Astrid the error of her ways, the beauty and necessity of the old ways. I have sent a letter to Astrid. We leave soon, but Cicero will keep this sanctuary as his sanctuary, a place to rest and ply my trade. For I once more take up the blade and send some lucky souls to him when laughter strikes as fits my whim. Taking it with me. Poor dude, he's been doing like. He's been having the worst time. Hi, dead mother. You don't have anything to say about this, huh? I asked. Have you found something? A little bit. Yes, Cicero's journal. Good. Good. Does it say where he may be headed? Yes. An abandoned abandoned sanctuary in Dawnstar. I have the passphrase. The Dawnstar Sanctuary? Whatever for. Never mind, it doesn't matter. You need to leave. Now. Every moment counts. So I want you to take my horse. His name is Shadowmere. <coughs> You'll find him outside by the pool. Let's just say he's <laughs> one, one of us. us. Find Arnbjorn. Make sure my husband's all right. Yes. And then, send that jester's twisted little soul to the void, in as many pieces as possible. Isn't there any way to work this out? Look, the Dark Brotherhood is a family. This sanctuary is a family. And we've always welcomed those shunned by society. Werewolves, wizards, eternal ten-year-old vampires. What does it matter? In truth, I've rarely met a lunatic I haven't liked. Cicero's problem isn't his madness. It's an adherence to an ancient, outmoded way of life. The Night Mother's ways simply are not our ways. He just couldn't accept that. And now he'll have to pay the price. What do we do about the Dunstar Sanctuary? Oh, it's ancient. Apparently one of the first sanctuaries in Skyrim. It hasn't been used by the Brotherhood in close to a hundred years. If you say Cicero has gone there, it stands to reason that he's familiar with the place. That means you'll be fighting him on his own ground. Tread carefully. Okay. Uh, did something set Cicero off? No, nothing. At least, nothing I'm aware of. Well, if I'm being honest, I haven't exactly been discreet lately in expressing my frustration with this whole situation. Obeying the Night Mother, you being the listener, it's ridiculous. No offense. Cicero may have overheard me talking to one of the others about the Night Mother. It's possible I was not entirely respectful, but to go this far... To attempt to murder the leader of a sanctuary. Cicero must pay with his life. There is no other option. There it is. Damnable jester. Do you have anything to I say? I believed in Cicero, but he's betrayed us all. Any thoughts on the current situation? Cicero destroyed any sympathy I may have had for him when he wounded Vizara. Kill the fool and be done with it. Go. Do what has to be done. It only hurts when I laugh. <laughs> oh. oh, any thoughts on the current situation? Yes, do not underestimate Cicero. Okay. A man like that, small and foolish, is easy to mock. To underestimate, don't make the same mistake I did. Okay. Until next time, sister. You. Boy, did you miss all the excitement. Yeah, I did. Any thoughts? <sighs> all right, so... Maybe I was wrong. Maybe Cicero coming here wasn't the best thing that could have happened. 
But even I didn't anticipate this. Well, you know the old saying, when life gives you lemons, go murder a clown. <laughs> Burn that little jester alive. It's nothing to do with lemons. Should have figured the little lunatic would completely snap. Any thoughts? Going after Cicero now would be a fool's errand. That little jester is currently being digested in Arnbjorn's stomach. Mark my words. I see. Go on now. Okay, so no one is actually like defending anything that he has done. So I just wanted to first Gabriela. Hi. It was a truly terrifying scene. Beautiful in some respects. Any thoughts? I feel only pity for Cicero. He must die, of course, but can any of us truly blame him for his actions? We mocked him, disrespected the old ways. Our actions were shameful. Surely the Night Mother weeps this day. Until next time, sister. I mean, she hasn't been saying anything, so... Thank Mother's Truth. Do I have this? I might know this truth. See? You know, sometimes we are like... Oh yeah, I definitely have this. And other times I like... Or maybe not. <laughs> Wait. Uh, has to be... I'm not there. Or is it though? Yeah, I do have it and I have read it. Oh! I think I remember this. Yeah, it's talk it talks about her children and where she, her body resided at some point. Very well, let's go. Hi! Yes! You go back home, okay? Nothing. Do not go any other way. Okay, uh. Here is that. Let me locate that journ. You know what? I'm going to go to the Star and then just from there go to the Sanctuary. The horse looks like so good with like red eyes. So pretty, so such a pretty horse. Let's go to this sanctuary. It would be interesting, like going there and just hearing chaos everywhere, like the people being like, "Someone's been murdered" or something. Like actually having some difference to Cicero being here or not. Dude, are you okay? You're not looking good. Should have figured Astrid would send you. Yeah, dude. Hi. You hurt. Uh, what gave it away? Maybe the blood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gotta admit that little jester's good with that butter knife. But don't worry, I gave as good as I got. Where's Cicero now? In there, through the door some old sanctuary by the looks of it i would have followed him but i don't know the phrase i know the phrase i'll get cicero you go home all right you convinced me doubt i'd be much good to you anyway a little fop cut me pretty deep do you need a potion but i slashed him good pretty sure i severed an artery don't know what you're gonna find in there but you can probably just follow the blood i've been looking for you got something i'm supposed to deliver your hands only. Do me a favor and kill that little jester twice, just to make sure. You have to give me something. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to do. <laughs> Your hands only. They Let's appear on the see. most random I've got a letter moments. And a lot of gold. Something about it being your uh, oh inheritance. Oh, and sorry for your loss. Looks like that's it. Got to go.
In the name of Jarl Balgruf ba Brungwolf Free Winter, it is right with great gr regret that I inform you of Anne and Grenor once honours dead. The deceased has bequeathed unto you a measure of inheritance in the amount of a hundred gold pieces. The Jarl's court has levied an amount of ten gold pieces from the sum, as the lawfully and honorably due tax. The remainder has been condemned unto the care and the trusted courier for deliverance. While all of the Jarl's court grievers grieves with you on this day, we rejoice in the knowledge that the deceased was in possession of dear friend and wealth to communicate unto them. May this lawfully bestowed inheritance prove as a reminder of your enduring faith in one another and of the Jarl's beneficence accorded unto both. Angrenor once honored death. Who the fuck is that? There he goes. Tell me, man, did, did he really me need to to kill that little jester twice? Just I mean, yeah, sure. I will. But did the courier just have to give me the letter like right now? He couldn't wait. Okay, uh, weapons, and I'm going to keep the sword. Yeah, that's the bow. Good. Be happily married, dream of reality, oh, interesting things. Innocence, my brother. The other, the other answers were kind of, kind of interesting. Okay, so here we are. I'm just looking at stuff. <laughs> oh, this is a very beautiful sanctuary. Can't really search it. Beautiful place, though. Over here, maybe? Yes. Ship lessons. I don't have that one. Marksmanship lessons. Give me a second, Cicero. I have, I have a few things to kind of check here. And there was another one here, right? The fire and darkness. Do I have that one? Fire. Darkness. Yes, I do have it. I'm still going to take it just in case because I don't want to. Oh, oh. I, I really was not looking at my health. I really was not looking at my health. You just move to the side. You're still alive. Yes. 
You say I'm still alive, Cicero? He's hurt, so he's kind of trying to gain a little bit of uh, time. <laughs> oh, there was another one. Okay. Seems to be there. Beautiful place. Beautiful place, though. This is a corpse there. Barred from the other side. Okay, yeah, I was going the way I should have gone. Okay. You'll enjoy this. Not an original part of the sanctuary per se. Let's call it a forced addition. Enforced by what? Oh, come and see. Hi. Oh, no, the the Cicero attack that harlot aspirin. The Richter. You had a name. This is one of these. It's a lot of creatures. Can't complain about that. Yes, this way. So many places here. Yes, I see you. Shut up, I'm the listener, I'm more worthy than any of you. Attention, pay more attention. Oh, come on. I barely touched it. Oh, God. Oh, a little bit of more. I hate level, master level logs. Oh god. Come on. I am so tired. My eyes are kind of very tired. My eyesight is like not doing great. I'm just like, come on. <laughs> I don't even know what I tried to open this. Um, I don't even know. I don't want to give up on whatever is in here. I do have more than a hundred, so... Just brute force it, you know? Okay. Maybe? Ah. Oh, that was 
so close. There. <laughs> Yay. Oh. No. Quick say that. For your madness is around me. I'm no one's cure. No, oh, you prefer to listen, eh? Of course, of course. The listener listens. <laughs> a joke, a funny joke. <laughs> I get it. Then listen to this. Don't kill me. Let poor Cicero live. I attacked the strumpet pastor, and I did, and I do it again. Anything for our mother? Return to the pretender. Tell her I'm dead. Tell her you strangled me with my own intestines. <laughs> but lie. Yes, lie. Lie and let me live. Thing is that. If I let you live, you're still going to be doing whatever the fuck you want. Do what you will. Cicero has no fight left. In the end, Sithis will judge us both. Okay. That, that acted, that, that, that little end for him, how the voice actor acted it out. Very interesting. Sneaking. Prices are better. Water is muffled. That was, mm. you know what? I might as well just take it. Yeah, dude. Is that how you look? Wait. I don't think I have ever seen him without the hat. You take that, why not? Thing is that if I let him live, he most likely is going to do something that he shouldn't. And he's uh, very crazy, very crazy. He's going to be killing people. Like, I kind of understand where he comes from. But yeah. He can't be doing that. There it is. There you go. I do feel, feel pity for him, though. In an ideal world, he shouldn't be having... Any of these problems. Okay. What is that? That kind of glows. Is it a new route? I think it is. It is one. Yeah. I saw the faint glow and I was like, I want it. There's another one there. On the left. Yes. Okay, so let's go 
back to the sanctuary, I suppose. There. Yes. sleepiness oh no come on that's the last thing that you need to record you can do it if you take the plate i wanted to take the soldier i asked is safe and for that you have my thanks good to know but what of the fool is cicero dead yes cicero is dead excellent once again you've proven yourself a born assassin not Tell really, I'm awful at it. Why don't you hold on to Shadow Mirror a while longer? He's a fine student yeah. and hasn't been ridden nearly as much as he should lately. And now that this Cicero mess has been mopped up, we can get back to the matter at hand, hmm? Right, so what's my ne next task? There's just one more target before we strike out at the Emperor. Have you by chance heard of the Gourmet? Read his cookbook? I think I did. It's become quite a phenomenon. The gourmet is scheduled to cook for the emperor at a special dinner. You'll kill him, steal his writ of passage, and assume the role of master chef. Festus has been spearheading this part of the assassination plan. He's close to uncovering the identity of the gourmet. You should report to him. Okay. <laughs> Until next time, Just talk to this person, yes. Festus. Besara, you, you okay? But Need something? I think you do. I think you're okay. Like an accident. Impressive. I'd say you earned your bonus on that one. Hi. There you are. Took your sweet time again, dealing with Cicero, eh? Interest, now let's get down to business. Astrid told you about the gourmet, I hope. Yes. That I need to kill him and take on his identity? Quite so. But first, you'll need to learn who he is. Assuming, of course, that the gourmet actually is a he. Could be a woman, for all we know. Okay. You know, maybe I was wrong about you after all. Anyone who's smart enough to shut up and listen can't be all bad. In my, um, uh, investigations, I came upon this. It's a copy of the Gourmet's cookbook. Oh. But not just any copy. It's signed, you see. Seems to be a message from the Gourmet to one Anton Varan. I've tracked Varan to the keep in Markarth. It would seem he's the cook. And this Anton Varan... Knows the gourmet's true identity? I believe so. Therefore, you are to obtain that information from Varan. Who the gourmet really is and where he can be found. Oh, and when you're done with Varan, kill him. Okay. Loose ends and all that. Sure. Next, you'll have to... Are you still paying attention? Yes, I am. Of course. Please continue. Huh. As I was saying, you'll need to kill the gourmet, of course. But what's more, you'll need to get his writ of passage so you can take his place. Oh, and if you can, hide his body. Okay. The longer it takes for anyone else to determine his real identity, the better. Now off with you. What else can you tell me about the gourmet? Nobody knows his true identity. Well, nobody except Gaius Morrow, and you've already taken care of him. Well, I do know the gourmet was classically trained in traditional Breton cuisine in High Rock. Okay. So, that's where he must have met Anton Varan. In any event, our anonymous chef shares a passion for food with all of Tamriel. And that anonymity will prove the Emperor's undoing. Tell me about this cookbook. 
Uncommon taste. It was published a few years ago. It became a sensation throughout the Empire almost overnight. The recipes were hailed as both practical and decadent. I made a few of the gourmet's dishes myself, actually. His roast mutton with regard berry sauce is to die for. But his chocolate pate gives me the runs. So, the gourmet is in Skyrim? Yes. Gaius Morrow, on orders from his father, arranged for the gourmet to come to Skyrim months ago to serve as the Emperor's personal chef. But the Emperor cancelled his journey at the last minute. Morrow was smart. Kept the gourmet around, in case things changed. And so, the gourmet has remained in seclusion, somewhere in Skyrim, on indefinite hold. Probably feels like a prisoner. <laughs> but you'll fix that. Okay. Remember, the Markarth Keep. That's where you'll find Anton Varan, probably cooking up all of the gourmet's recipes, passing them off as his own. <laughs> okay. Don't forget that I am Shadow Scale. I was, quite literally, born to kill. I don't know. So. I completely see Soros part of the ghost. Does the Night Mother has any, have any? Do you have anything to do or say about this? Huh? Can I talk to you? Don't want to talk? Okay. Good night. You didn't care about Caesar that much, it seems. Um. Okay. So we completed that. Now we have. We have to basically become the Emperor's chef. <laughs> That's going to be fun, but I will have to get to leave it for another video. Possibly because this is going to be like a short one. If, and this is if I have any more time, I may just um, upload next part on Friday. So yeah, kind of enough to do like a too short of a video, but yeah, I couldn't record that much. Uh, I was kind of sick on the weekend when I was supposed to record a few, a few of the of the things for the week, and I was like, oh no, I just slept through the day. So yeah, everything like got delayed. <laughs> so yeah, now, now I'm feeling better though. Oh, I'm just really tired because it's pretty late. That will be all for today, so goodbye, bye-bye, see you on the next one.